Gemma, Mistral, models from LG, Boyder and many models got released this week. Anthropic web search, cursor edit and many things got released in regards to coding ability. And we are going to see one by one and all the news updates that you need to know. Let's get started. First, we got Gemma 3, the most capable model you can run on a single GPU. Compared to its size 27 billion, it clearly beats DeepSeek V3. It's pre-trained on 140 languages. It has multimodal ability with context length of 128,000 token. Next, Mixtrol Small 3.1. It's multimodal, multilingual, Apache 2.0 license, fully open source, 128,000 context length, high performance, and faster inference. You can see the comparison here. It's better than Jama 3, 27 billion parameter model, GPT-4 or Mini, Claude 3.5 Haiku. Next from LG, we got XR1 Deep, a reasoning model specialized in math science coding task. Released three different versions, 32 billion, 7.8 billion and 2.4 billion version. And this model is in par with DeepSeek R1. That is really nice. Next we have Hunyan 3D generation model with two different versions, MV and Mini. And also it's open source. And you can see the comparison here with the previous model which they released and the latest one is much better than the previous one. Even the mini version is much better than their previous version. Next from the same company, we got Hunyan T1. It's a hybrid Mamba transformer MOE architecture resulting in longer context length, strong logic and concise writing, low hallucination, blazing fast, excellent long text processing. And this is clearly in par with DeepSeek R1 and O1 and beats GPT 4.5. Next, Baidu released Ernie 4.5 and X1 and it outperforms GPT 4.5 at just 1% of the price and that is their latest foundation model in regards to X1 that matches DeepSeek R1 at 50% lower cost. It's a deep thinking multimodal model. Here you can see the comparison with GPT 4.5 DeepSeek V3 chat and this is much better than that. Next we got Command A, max performance, minimal compute. It's optimized for speed, efficiency, and security. Outperforms GPT-40 DeepSeek version three. And here's the comparison, Command A with GPT-40 and DeepSeek version three. And it handles 256,000 context length, advanced rag, secure and private, 23 supported languages. Next, we got Gemini 2.0 Flash, native image generation, conversational editing, text in images, optimized for chat. And you can that try that in Google AI Studio. And here I'm asking add some white and pink flowers in the table by adding this image. And it's able to add the white and pink flowers. That is beautiful. In this way, you can keep on editing any image. Next, NVIDIA released Cosmos Transfer 1 on Hugging Face. It's a conditional world generation with adaptive multimodal control. So it supports a multimodality. So this is an RGB camera and we got depth camera, HD map, and this model supports all this different type of data. It creates photorealistic image. Here's the input image blur and it's made to high quality. Here is another sensor data. From that, this realistic image got created and another sensor data. And here is another realistic image. That is really nice. Here is the input and you got different variations such as night, foggy, night rainy, snow, and daytime. Next, we got Roblox, 3D generation. So inside Roblox, you can just type for whatever object you want to get created. And you can see it got created directly from within Roblox. That is really nice. Next, from Stability AI, multi-view video generation with 3D camera control. So you provide one 2D image, and from that, it's able to create a 3D video as you can see here, and the camera control. That is super cool. So you can convert any of your 2D image into a proper 3D image as you can see here. Now model releases is completed. Now next go to other releases. We got Open Manners AI if you haven't tried that. And it gained loads of popularity and I've shared how to install and run it. Do try that out to automate complex tasks. Next we got FishCAD. So here you got AI where you can enter your text and it will automatically create the model for you. And you can directly interact with the model or the 3D object from your browser. 
and here is the woolly image which I created a 3D model. I just added the text woolly and from text to 3D and this is really brilliant. And now you can use this model in any of your games or videos. You are able to download it and use it on any of your other tools as well. Next from Anthropic Cloud, we got web search. So when you ask any question, it's able to perform web search with most relevant information and give us the output. This is in competition with OpenAI, Perplexity and many other companies. Next, OpenAI released speech to text and text to speech model. Speech to text, they released GPT-40 transcribe and GPT-40 mini transcribe. And that clearly beats the previous Whisper version models in various different languages. Here is text to speech, which you can try here. And you also got the code here. I'll put all the links in the description below. This is another great approach from Microsoft Research. Embed knowledge in a model without retraining. Imagine you don't need to retrain the model. We can put the whole code base, as you can see from this image, to the model, and you can clearly retrieve the relevant information with the correct answer. That is your custom data ingested to the model and you get the answer. And this is really brilliant. And here is the comparison between RAG in context learning and KB LAM. In regards to RAG, it's external retriever and here it's done internally. Next, we got edit image in Grok. So you are able to upload an image and ask it to modify that image and you can see it automatically modified that image. And this is similar to Gemini image edit. In the same topic with Grok3, we got deeper search. Previously, we had deep search and now this is deeper search with extended search and more reasoning. Next, we got Mirage. Create high converting ads with virtual spokesperson that doesn't exist. And you can customize. Start with a script or audio file. And here is the script. Talk about Mirage. What's the new features and updates? Let's dive deep into it. And it automatically wrote the script and now we can choose what style we want. Choose the person, that's like the avatar. And now you can see the avatar speaking. And it's more realistic as well. So you can directly create all these kind of videos and then upload on YouTube or for any shots. That is really nice. Next, we got mind maps in Note LM. If you don't know Note LM, so you upload your custom data or any documents, it should automatically create a podcast for you. And also you can ask questions based on that. So the latest update is that you are able to generate mind maps using that. You can clearly understand the content you uploaded. That is really nice. Next, we got Claude 3.7 Sonnet Max. And you can use this on cursor for extended thinking and for more intelligence. Next, we got Wave 5 from Windsurf with Windsurf tab. So this is a more advanced version. So it automatically predicts what you're going to type, if any errors, and if you need to import any of the modules and everything is done automatically. Next, we've got Gemma package. Using that, you can fine tune the model with LoRa, PEFT, multimodality and tokenization. Pip install Gemma and just this bit of code and you are able to chat with the model, you are able to train the model and many other features. That's all for this week. Do let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. Considering you like models and AI news, I also created another video which is about Hunyan T1, a latest model, which is also a top competitor with GPT 4.5. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.